R. Kelly is back in custody after a child support hearing in Chicago. CBS News correspondent Jerika Duncan joins me now on the phone from Chicago. So, Jerika, what is it that you can tell us? Well, uh, the public relations spokesperson for the county just confirmed that he is in their custody, that he is going to be processed. We don't have any information about what exactly happened, but we knew that there was a chance he would be taken into custody if he didn't come up with uh, money that he owed his ex-wife for child support. It's our understanding that he owed over $160,000. Of course, he was able to post bail um, last week uh, and was freed, but he had this court appearance for a child uh, support that he was behind, at least $160,000. I'm also hearing that it may have been more than that. I just got a glimpse of R. Kelly as he walked away with officials around him. I didn't see if he had handcuffs on him, uh, but his spokesperson, Daryl Johnson, I spoke with him. He said that he'll be having some sort of news conference within the next few minutes. Uh, his whole camp just looks disturbed. You could tell that they're upset. Uh, this was someone that was glad to be free. Is obviously, based on our interview, upset about the charges against him from a criminal standpoint. Uh, but we are awaiting to hear from his camp. But we can confirm that R. Kelly is back in police custody. All right, if you're just joining us, this is the scene now at Cook County Family Court in Chicago, Illinois. Our Jerika Duncan is there on the phone with us. So, Jerika, as you mentioned, so this is coming a day after Gail King's interview with R. Kelly, where he denied the sexual abuse allegations against him. What is next for R. Kelly in that case? In that case, he has a, a court hearing for March 22nd. But, you know, in that interview with Gail King, one of the things that obviously got him emotional and worked up was this notion that he wanted to have a relationship with his children. Uh, we were maybe hoping to throw a couple of questions out to him after he came out, uh, thinking that he was probably going to walk out of here. But that was not the case today. There was a chance that he was going to go back into custody. We don't know all the details. Remember, this is family court. So a lot of these documents and all of the details about what's going on are sealed. Uh, so his ex-wife, we understand, is not here. And an attorney is here representing her. Uh, so she's not necessarily here to speak on her behalf or her children's behalf. Uh, so we will be relying on her attorney, perhaps, who might give a statement. And then, of course, our Kelly's camp, who, again, I just spoke literally two, three minutes ago with Daryl Johnson. He is a publicist, represents R. Kelly, um, and said that he would be giving a statement shortly. So we're standing by and waiting. Um, I'm surrounded by other reporters that are right now near the spokesperson, again, for the county, to just try and get as many details as we can about what's next and will there be a bond hearing or is there an opportunity for him to get out. These are all questions we all have, but we were told that court date information and whatnot will be given later this evening after he is processed. All right, our Jerika Duncan with the very latest on this story in Chicago for us. Jerika, thank you.